What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so we're going in uh, side quest mode right here. In our last episode, we were a little surprised by going into the trick house, and, well, the surprise was that we were in puzzle number two. So that means we got, like, what, one, two, three, four, five episodes, or five uh, trick house events that we have to do. Now, in this episode, we're going to be doing puzzle number three and four. You need the Heat Badge and the ba Balance Badge in order to do these two events right here. Obviously, you will be getting uh, you will be getting some items along the way right here. And for these two events, you do need Rock Smash and, and Strength. So let's go right ahead and uh, find this guy right here. So it looks like to me this guy's at the dresser. Let's go ahead and uh, click on this. And would you look at that? He's concealed himself in the dresser. Oh, you may come and challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is! Consider your, your challenge accepted. Enter through the scroll uh, there and let your challenge commence. Alright, she'll be waiting in the back. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and uh, press this. And the good thing is that we actually do have the Rock Smash technique right here. With good old Zigzagoon. And another thing too is that we brought in two extra Pokemon from our previous uh, walkthrough in Emerald. And they're going to be doing the majority of the battles right here because, well, they're two of my favorite Pokemon from Hoenn. So here we have Camper Justin coming out with his Kecleon. And, well, we got ourselves Shroomly ready to go. Let's go with a Muck Punch. And that right there nearly takes out Kecleon. Now it's a, a fighting type. And, well, here comes the Fury Swipes. Not so effective. But still, it's going to hit us twice because, well, you know, that's how it is. And let's go straight for a headbutt attack for the win. And there you go. Shroomly is the victor. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. All righty. So, yeah. <laughs> He's having a little trouble right there. So, in this one, we actually have to press the buttons right here to get to the scroll. And obviously, whenever you get close to the scroll, it's just, it's going to be difficult. So, let's see what happens when we go right here and go down here. Nope. There's still something blocking it. All right, screw it. Let's go ahead and battle people, and then let's get to the scroll. I don't get it. What would anyone want to with a house that's this bizarre? Uh, somebody's sick, I'll tell you that right now. Somebody very, very sick. And I'm talking about, like, my god, you are sick, homeboy. All righty. So, here we go. Taking on a, uh, a Geodude. And, well... Let's go right ahead and use Mega Drain because, well, yeah, we can. Alrighty, Mega Drain for the win. And there you go. Geodude defeated. And, well, let's see. We get some more points right there. Hiker Allen's going to be coming out with a nose pass. So let's continue on with, uh, you know, good old Shroomly right here. Let's get this. Let's go straight for a Mega, a Mega Drain yet again. And look at this. Look at this. Okay, so it nearly takes all its HP. So here comes a rock throw. This guy is not going to be effective. So let's go right ahead and go with a mock punch. This right here is going to be super effective. And it's a critical hit. Yes. Alrighty. So we did the right thing right here. And, uh, well, he's going to be coming out with a graveler. Let's continue on with our good old buddy Shroomly right here. And, well, let's go straight for a mock punch yet again. Look at that. Mock Punch nearly does it, and here comes the Mud Spore. I do not know why you want to do that, since we, we're not really going to be using Electric-type Pokemon right here. Alrighty, so here we go. Mock Punch, how's it going? For the win, and there you go. Alrighty, alrighty, so we're kicking some butt, taking some names. Hiker Allen has been defeated. I am happy, as always. And, well, let's go right ahead and not do that. We have to find a lo the... We have to find the right switches and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to grab these items. And it's a wood mail. Now, the majority of the items that you find inside this guy's place is going to be mail. So just be aware of that. I probably should... Uh, let's see. Miracle Seed. Let's go ahead and give that to our uh, buddy Shroom Lee right here. And a Deep Sea Tooth. So the deep sea tooth right here, you you hold it to a clamp pearl, and it's going to raise its special attack. Deep sea scale raises its uh, special defense. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. 
Uh, let's see. You know what? Screw it. Let's go with Max Repel. I know I'm wasting it, but we can still buy some now. And here we found ourselves a wood mail. And let's go right ahead and grab... Well, battle this girl and then grab it. So, let's go right ahead and take on a camper. Look at this. Camper Martha wants the battle, and she is coming out with her skitty right here. Okay, truly. Let's go muck punch right now. And, oh yes, just as a reminder, guys, every single time you challenge a trick house, it is going to get a little bit difficult, not just by the, the, the tricks, but, you know, the Pokemon that are in it. So that's why we have backup right here. And, well, look at this. We got Gaia the Fierce Knight right here. Bring it on. Okay, so let's go. Psychic attack for the win. And look at this. We win. Okay, alrighty, Gaia, kick a butt, take a names, and Martha has been defeated. Okay, so let's go right ahead and grab this little item, and we found ourselves a Shadow Mail. Now, we should make space for one more thing, because, yeah. Yeah, we should, because we're going to be getting another item here pretty soon. We do have one more hard scale, don't want to throw that out. Um, energy powder, let's go ahead and give that to somebody. There we go. And let's go right ahead and let's see. We have to press the button, right? Yeah, we do. So let's go ahead and press this button. I think this should be the key to getting towards the scroll without any issues. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I was wrong. Let's see. I'm looking and oh, look at that. Okay, so we got to the scroll. Bam. Grab the scroll. Everything's good. And now it is finally time for us to go back to the trick master right here. And it looks like to me this will close. It will. So we have to go back down. And I'm not get so confused right there. So there's that. And press that. And oh, crap baskets. Okay. This one will what? Close it. Open it. And oh my god. <laughs> so let's go right here. Close it. Jeebus, criminy. Okay, so let's see. Can't go there. What if you go right here? Here. And look at this. Okay, so we find we, we figured it out. Alright, so there it is. Grabbing that. We opened up the scroll and it says the uh, Trickmaster is coveted. The lock has opened, and bam. Okay, so here we are. And we're going to be talking to the scroll master. He's going to be like, ah, you made it to me. Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night to prepare those wall panels. You're almost at my equal in, uh, in greatness by one, two, three, four places. Fine. You have earned this place, or this reward. And we get ourselves a hard stone, which, of course, is a very, very, uh, a very valuable item for any rock type Pokemon. So that right there completes the third the third installment of the trick house right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna step outside switch out some pokemon because i'm pretty sure this next one's gonna this this next challenge is gonna be with third level 30 pokemon and yeah shroom lee's not gonna like this so i'll be right back with you guys for the what was it Three, four, fourth installment. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So we are back, and we made a few switches towards our team. And here we are in Trick House number four. And he's going to be looking at us. And from where he is hiding, he's going to be right here near a window spot. So let's go right ahead and see where he's at. He's probably right up here. There he is. Okay. So he's like, huh, grr. how did you know I concealed myself beyond this window? You're sharp. Yeah, you come to challenge my Trick House, haven't you? That's why we're, you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your, challenge, your, your challenge accepted. Enter through the scroll there and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. Okay, so here we are in the challenge number four. This is after you've defeated uh, your dad in the for the balance badge. And what you do need right here is a Pokemon that knows strength. And the good thing is that you, uh, yeah, we do have a Pokemon with that type of ability. That is our good old buddy Sage right here. And... Well, we brought in two new Pokemon. You guys will probably remember them. It's too much to bother to think uh, think this out. I only wanted a battle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so did we, but yeah, you know, that's not... That's kind of how this game plays out. 
So here we are taking on Battle uh, Battle Girl Korra, and she's got herself a uh, level 27 uh, Meditite. Here we have Seablade back into the fold, and well, let's go right ahead and use good old Seablade. It's been a while. That was the last time we used Seablade? Quite a while. Long time. And well, there we go. Fly attack. And there it is for the win. Oh my god, Seablade, you haven't missed a step. And yes, we have defeated Battle Girl Korra. She's not too happy right now. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this item, and we found ourselves a mech mail again. Most of the items you find here, guys, are gonna be, you know, they're gonna be mail. And the rare item that the the well the the uh, trickster guy does, it's going to be it's gonna be some special items right here that you'll probably need. So let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. <laughs> Boulders like this, I can brush aside with one finger. I love it. I love it how, like in the animes, these guys can, like, you know, literally with one finger, can either break a uh, a stone or just move a stone. Yeah, that's kind of uh, that's kind of funny. I wish I could do that in real life. So here we have again. We're going up against a Makuhita, and yes, yeah, Sea Blade is just gonna take on uh, everybody right here. And Vital Throw misses. So here we go. Fly attack. And a fly attack does the trick. Look at Jack. Oh my god. Oh my god. And for the first time in how many episodes, Seablade has finally grown a level. And here he goes with a sea or with a uh, with a macho. Now I did bring X Boom to the team, but it looks like to me that this guy has uh, hired a whole bunch of uh, fighting type trainers. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stay away from that. And well, Macho is not feeling us right now. And here comes Revenge. That is going to hurt just a little bit. So here we go one more time with the fly attack. Alrighty, Sea Blade doing its thing, doing every single one of its thing, and there you go, Sea Blade for the win. And just like that, we get some more points. Sage as well getting some points. And well, yeah, he can push a he can push a boulder, but not push a well solve a puzzle. So let's go right here. And again, just remember, just remember, guys, that you know one too many pushes can actually screw you up. So there we go. We found ourselves a scroll, and what's going to happen is we're not going to push that boulder right there because, well, you know that's the that's the trick right there. Push that boulder, you're going to mess up. And well, let's see where to go to next. Okay, so we have to go all the way down there. So let's go ahead and speed this up. There you go, and there you go. The trick chaos is getting trickier, isn't it? Not really. It's probably one of the more easier ones right here, not number four. So, let's go right ahead and take on Paula right here. And she's coming out with a Breloom. This is, again, a Pokemon of my favorite choice. Let's go with a Fly Attack. And let's take on uh, some Evasion right there. Here comes a Fly Attack for the win. And just like that. We win. Breloom defeated. And, well, here comes Paula. She's like, ah! That's right. Okay, so we're looking at... We are looking at this right now. So this is the part where everybody gets uh, screwed up right here. So what you need to do is you need to press this all the way to the very end. Press that, and then bam. So Draven wrote down the secret code on the, on the scroll. Trickmaster is cool, and bam, we have opened up the next gate to the place right here. Let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. Heck, you've made it to me. Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night to shove those boulders. You're almost my equal by in, in greatness by one, two, three places. Fine, you have earned this reward. And here we get ourselves a smoke ball, which is an item that you can actually give to your Pokemon. And it can easily ev evade Pokemon or escape Pokemon, even if they're unleveled and all that stuff. So yeah, this has been this has been Trick House number four. In the next episode, we're gonna be going and finishing up with Trick House number five and six. Obviously, there is seven and eight that we still need to do later on, but we need to defeat you know we need to defeat the the gym leader of Sutopolis and. We actually have to, yeah, defeat the, the champion as well. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being as patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.